again to yet another interesting video in this one i'm going to solve the problem of merge sorted array it is of uh, easy complexity on lead code very simple and interesting uh, uh, problem to solve uh, the description is you are given two integer arrays nums1 and nums2 sorted in non-decreasing order and two integers m and n representing the number of elements in nums1 and nums2 respectively merge nums1 and nums2 into a single array sorted in non-decreasing order the final sorted array should not be returned by the function but instead be stored inside the array nums to accommodate this nums has a length of m plus n where the first m elements do not the elements that should be merged and the last elements n elements are set to zero should be ignored nums2 has a length of uh, n let's look at some of the examples so nums1 1 2 3 0 0 0 m is 3 because rest of the zeros are just placeholders nums2 2 5 6 n is 3 the outcome should be merge sorted array which is 1 2 2 3 5 6 so 1 2 2 3 5 6 so that's what it is the other example is if there is nums1 as 1 and nums2 there isn't anything then the merging is only going to produce one element which is one only there's one more example what are the constraints nums1 dot length is m plus n nums2 dot length is n m uh, is like greater than or equal to zero and um, m plus n is not going to go above 200 uh, nums1 you know these are the values that you could see in there can you come up with an algorithm that runs in o m plus n time so that is you know um, the follow-up but um, that's what i'm targeting in my solution okay so i have the code already written out to save time for you guys um, and what exactly I'm doing in this? So we know that uh, the nums dot length is m plus n because it contains the placeholders for the rest of the elements. So what I'm doing is that I'm creating a results array. So straight away, you know, the space complexity is going to be o n here, and n here in this case is m plus n. So a results array is created. I'm creating some variables and a couple of more variables. I am running a loop on i less than m plus n. And since uh, uh, you know those both are like different arrays, so uh, I'm running it for m plus n. But if I'm comparing two array elements, there could be a situation where the array has ended. One of the array has ended so instead of directly comparing the array elements i am computing comp1 and comp2 uh, first comp1 is like um, and i have you know these variables j and k which i am using in this while loop to increment on the the arrays j is for nums1 and uh, k is for nums2 array so as long as j is less than m the comparator that i want to compare is the nums1 element otherwise i am putting comp1 as max value and comp2 as long as k is less than n comp2 will be nums2k otherwise it will be integer max value so after these are computed in my if loop i am comparing comp2 with comp1 if comp2 is less that means the results array at that particular i uh, position should have comp2 as the uh, the result and if we are adding comp2 to the result that means we have to increment the pointer for the nums2 array and pointer for the nums2 array is k if this is condition is not meeting then you know we are putting the nums1 value into the results uh, ith position and we are incrementing the the nums1 pointer which is j 
and after this if loop we are uh, incrementing the pointer the uh, while loop uh, counter i every time uh, after executing all these statements once all of this is done we have the results in results array now since uh, we are not going to return results we have to put values into the nums array now you know the array um, data types are passed by reference so you can't just assign nums one equal to results because uh, the code uh, which is evaluating whether the results are correct or not is is uh, evaluating based on the uh, the object which was passed as a reference so you can't just assign nums one is equal to results and think that it will work it will not work we will have to assign each of the element in nums to results of that ith position so that's what it is now let's run the code it works perfectly fine let's submit it it works perfectly fine runtime is 0 millisecond 100 percent faster than you know any other submissions so clearly the time complexity is o n and here is m plus n like i mentioned and space complexity is o n that's it let me know if you have any questions for me